In this video, I'm going to show you how to make cathedral church windows out of recycled cardboard. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. There is a positive during these difficult times. It actually made me more creative. So I give myself a no cost challenge where I can only use the supplies that I have in my own home to create these cathedral church windows. And I get to use recycled cardboard from my own groceries, which is amazing because I love to upcycle. Now let's get started. I had these two amazing, very tropical pieces of canvas art, and it wasn't fi fitting in with my fall vibe, nor would it fit in with my winter wonderland that I'll be putting up very soon. I wanted to basically create these church windows as a transitional piece, so it covers two seasons. As you can see, there is actually a frame around the canvas art, and I noticed I can actually fit those pizza box cardboards in between, so that's how I decided to create the cardboard base layer to fit inside the frame so it's being held up, not having to use tape or glue to have the main layer against the art. Then with the space that I had, I decided to break it up into six like glass windows. So I cut the paper in six pieces, uh, did the measurements so it fits evenly. After doing a whole bunch of math from the amount of cardboard I had to what I needed to create the base layer and then another challenge. I actually wanted to make it to be able to collapse and fit behind the artwork. So even the design aspect, I don't have to worry about storing. It just fits there and will just tuck away as the tropical birds are out during the spring and summer season. Then when I was gluing the paper to the cardboard, because it was copy paper, it's so thin. So I made a very small glue outline and then placed it on the edges where it wouldn't be noticed as much. And then used my scraper to really smooth those lines out so it's basically flat. I mean, you can use a glue stick, but because I was concerned of uh, the additional cardboard lattice layer, I was afraid that it wouldn't be a strong enough hold. And I know tacky glue is great. To help me with my design, I couldn't find a cathedral window that I particularly wanted. I did a lot of altering with this SVG template. I used the contour option to make it a solid piece because I just wanted that top round part for the cardboard and for the paper. And you can completely cut this entire project by hand. But you can see here um, some of the alterations, get a bit of an idea, but I did create everything with, with the shapes and splicing, which is a whole nother thing. If I showed you everything I did to create this design, that would probably be another 15 minute video. And always make sure when you cut cardboard to use masking tape to help adhere to your standard grip mat. building an additional piece, that dome, on top of the canvas art. So with the rest of the pizza box scraps, I'm actually cutting out the strips for the 3D part. A tip is whenever you're cutting the same size multiple times, just put a piece of blue tape on the correct measurement so you can cut a lot faster. And when you can see from uh, these scraps, these were the scraps from the diagonal pieces, and I was still able to use it, I'm cutting the vertical lines within the church window. It'll make more sense when I put it together. 
Another pro tip is when you're cutting multiple thin strips of cardboard, a rotary blade cuts a lot easier than using the razor blade because the razor blade will actually move it more where the rotary blade just cuts over it and keeps all your pieces in position. So when it comes to painting something that has a little bit more depth, you want to make sure you paint the sides of it too because it would absolutely show, especially being such a high contrasting color with the black front. I actually like to do paint that first and then paint the top. And you can see I was getting very messy because you're trying to hold it, so I ended up deciding to put a glove on to just help with the mess. Another painting tip, if one of your cardboard pieces is end up going to be the faux wood treatment, which my top cover is going to be, I decided to just use one of those pieces as the catch-all for the paint. So you can see that I am painting the sides of the curved piece, but letting it create the lines on the other piece. So I'm not wasting any paint and everything is being used and you're starting to create those grain lines for the faux wood treatment. When I was about to glue the top on, I, there is a scene where the two pieces come together and you can kind of see a little bit of a white. So just to be safe, I just used a Sharpie to marker anything that might potentially be seen and then glued it down with the tacky glue. And to make sure it dries exactly where I want, I had a couple of sewing clips that I used just to hold it in place. And then I liked doing the faux on top of the lattice so it add more depth to it. Now time to glue down all <laughs> the lines for this project. It came out very well a lot. It's funny because you imagine these things and you're like, oh, it's such a big idea. And then when it actually comes together, it's so exciting. <laughs> so here were the vertical lines I was discussing about before. Now, and additionally, because I'm making it able to be folded, I only put the glue on one side of the seam because I'm gonna fold it down. And in the disassemble video, you'll understand better. And on the top one, because I cut it in a third and kept two thirds together, I glued it just on the top part, but I'll show you that. Now it's time to glue the rim of the top of the cathedral window. And a uh, hot glue I use uh, just for its fast drying time. And I feel like it's very sturdy. And But when you're using hot glue, especially when you're trying to do a seam, if it kind of bubbles out cautiously, I just use my finger to wipe it. It is gonna be hot, but I think my fingers are kind of numb from all the crafting that I do. Then I noticed when I tried to stand it up that it kept falling forward because all the weight was on the front. So I grabbed more of the excess, glad I didn't throw anything out yet, and then created a weight. So I just glued many, many layers until it actually stood up on its own because I just want this item to sit on top of the canvas. So it's great that I was basically able to use every single part of these recycled pizza, pizza boxes. I am so beyond happy with the result. And here you can see it's so easy to just take down. It's just resting on there because of the weight. And I was so nervous taking this apart because it is the first time. So it's like, oh, I hope it works. And it was great. This is the top portion that I'm taking off. And you see now why I glued one side so it can fold over. That's the whole goal. <laughs> and uh, yeah, same thing with the bottom part. It was so easy. Uh, it's just exciting when you create something and it actually works. And especially doing it on camera when you have, you're like, oh, I hope it goes through. So, and then just flipping the canvas over, being able to store your design, not have to worry about storage is great. So there's just so many aspects about this project that really pushed me, really pushed my thought process and just everything fit in so nicely. I mean, that's how I was hoping for, but the fact that it works, it's so great. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. 
Please let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite upcycling projects. I would love to hear it. And if you'd like to see more DIYs and crafts, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.